Shannon here. I am so excited to sweat with you today, and I hope you are ready for a good one. We have 10 moves, 10 reps, and two rounds. You know what that means? That means 200 movements. But you know what? I really believe in you. And I hope you believe in yourself as much as I believe in you. So grab a mat, get your area set up. If you'd like a chair, I suggest that. And if you have dumbbells, you can grab those also. I'll show you how to incorporate them into today's workout, but you don't need them, all right? So meet me back here and we'll get started. Okay, you know how this goes. Before we can get started, we have to make sure we get a dynamic warm up in. So that means we're gonna go through a full body flow to make sure we're ready to really go. You're gonna reach your hands down the front of your legs. Woo! Touch your toes. And then today we're gonna reach all the way up and stretch your back. <laughs> you have to make a sound like that or it's not as good of a stretch. Ready? Stretch. <laughs> I sound like a baby pterodactyl. Touch your toes and stretch. There we go. All right. So now when we go down for this next one, we're gonna reach for our toes, bend your knees as much as you need to, and then we're gonna walk out so that our knees are on the ground, our toes are on the ground, and our hands are under our shoulders. Then we're just gonna drop our pelvis or our hips towards the mat. So see how I have a nice long back now. From here, I'm just gonna slowly lower myself. Good, and now I'm gonna inhale, and as I exhale, I'm gonna push back up to my knees. Good job. Now I'm gonna pull my butt back and stretch. We'll do it two more times, okay? So you're gonna lower, good, elbows go back and down, and then totally relax at the bottom. And now inhale through your nose, Exhale, push to your hands and push back up. Good, pull your butt back. One more. See how I just tricked you into doing a push up? <laughs> Lower, all the way down. Good, relax, take a big deep breath. Exhale, push back up, butt to heel. Good work. Now from here, we're gonna step our foot outside of our hand and we're gonna open our chest towards the bed knee. Good, put that down, bring your knee back. Step outside our other hand, open up. Hand goes on the mat, step back. Now we're gonna push back up to our feet and our hands step and push back to our toes as we roll all the way up. Good work. Maybe you wanna shake it out, spin one way and then the other. Woo! Good, now you're gonna face me. We're gonna face each other, I should say. Our feet are shoulder width apart. We have really good balance. And we're gonna roll our shoulders up to our ears, back and then back down. Ears behind us and back down. Two more. And last one. Awesome, good. Now we're gonna go through that flow one more time. So we're gonna reach our hands down Good, and then we're gonna walk out, put our knees on the ground, our hands are under our shoulders, and then remember we have to drop our hips towards the mat, so we're in this nice straight line. Now we're gonna slowly lower. Good, our body weight is into the mat, we take a deep breath in through our nose, then we exhale and we push back up through our chest. Good work. Then we lower, oh, I almost forgot the best part. Ooh, I feel it, good. Now we're here, our hips are towards the ground. We're slowly lowering towards the ground, good. And then push back up, butt to heel. As you push up from being dead weight on the ground, I want you to try to keep your booty out of the air. So right here, use your chest and your arms. And stretch, good. Then you remember, step your foot outside of your hand. Open your arm, put it back down on the ground. Good. 
Put it back down on the ground. Pull your butt back. Push up into plank position. Soften your knees. Bend your knees as much as you need to and push your hands back to your toes. And then roll up one vertebrae at a time. All right, your dynamic warm up is done. And now we are ready for this workout. It's a good one. We're gonna move fast. We're gonna count our reps. But all you have to do is follow along with me. And don't worry, I got you. We're gonna get through this together. So don't forget your water and let's get started. Today's fitness code word is band. B A N D. Band. Remember to log your code word today to earn points. So if you'd like to use your dumbbells for any of the moves, a good way to incorporate them is to just hold them by your sides because you're adding in more weight training or resistance training, right? Your muscles have to work just a little bit harder. If you don't want your weights, it's okay. You don't need them. You can also hold them on your shoulders as well. So you have options. But I'm gonna put my weights down and just use my body weight. So to start with, we have high knees. There's a couple different ways you can do these. I like to hold my arms straight out and then reach my knees to my hands. If you don't love to jump, this is a really good way to do it. You're just stepping your knee as high as you can. If you're okay with jumping, we're gonna just do it a little bit faster, okay? So we have 10, which means 20 really, because we'll do 10 each leg. So our first move are high knees. Here we go together, arms out. Close your armpits a little bit like somebody's gonna tickle you and you don't want them to. Good job. Belly button into spine and we're gonna go one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, ten, nine, eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, one. Woo! Heart rate up already. So if you were stepping, it looks like this and maybe you're just finishing right behind us, all right? Now we're gonna do the same thing but with butt kicks. So it's heel to booty. So this is your option if you don't like to jump. Otherwise, we're jumping together. Three, two, one, butt kick. Three, four, five. Good, 10, nine, eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, one. Awesome. I like butt kicks better than high knees, but it's important to do both. Now we're gonna walk on our heels. So one step equals one rep. We're really working on our balance. So if you need extra help, you could grab a broomstick or a Swiffer mop or something like that to help stabilize you. Or you can hold on to a piece of furniture, maybe a kitchen table, anything like that. If you don't need extra balance, you're right here with me. You're gonna put your toe up into the air and then you're gonna take a step. One, two, three, four, five, six. Let's turn it around. Keep your toes up. Seven, eight, nine, ten. This is harder than it looks. Thirteen, fourteen, fifteen, sixteen, seventeen, eighteen, nineteen, and twenty. Good job. So if you notice your booty and your legs really have to work together to keep that balance in your heel. Awesome job. Okay, now we have standing side reaches. I love these ones. It's a really good way to work on your waistline, which are your oblique muscles. So you're gonna be shoulder width apart here, and you're gonna reach down to your heel, and then back straight, down to your heel, and then meet me in the middle. Good, four, we have 20 because we have 10 each side. That's six, seven, eight, you can count with me. It's fun, it takes your mind off of the work. Notice how I'm saying really still and I'm just reaching through my waistline. We have six more. It's almost like I'm crunching the top of my waistline over the bottom of my waistline. Last one, good job, all right. Now you have hip circles. You're doing so good. We're moving fast. Breathe, take water, whatever you need. But the next thing we're gonna do are twist our hips in a circle. So we'll do 10 one way, 10 the other. Our hands are on our hips. 
Our feet are shoulder width apart, and I'm gonna pretend like I'm drawing a circle. So I wanna make as big of a circle as I can through my head. So my butt goes back, then my hip comes around, then my hips go forward, my left hip. See how I'm making a circle, but my chest stays big and my eyes stay on you. Good, my feet are planted into the ground for balance. I have three more and then I switch sides. Good, so this should almost feel good like a stretch. Good, okay, ready? We'll switch, switch directions. So now we're gonna push out, push back, to the side, to the front. Good, sounds like a dance move, huh? <laughs> so much of dancing is in your hips, so that makes sense. You should feel your legs stretch as they're straight when you reach back. We have four more. I love this one. Three more. And done. Bonus round. <laughs> good job. Shake that out. You're doing so good. Okay. Now we have arm circles. There's a couple different ways you can do arm circles. I like to do them big, okay? So you can do little ones out here if that's what you like. But if you're like me and you wanna do big arm circles, I'm gonna move forward so I don't hit anything. And then I'm gonna go here. Five back, that's two. My shoulders are tight so it's hard for me. Three, and that was five I think. Now we'll switch and go forward this way. Two more. Woo. So a lot of us are on our computers or our devices, whatever it is you use, playing video games, on your phones. So that's a good one to open up our shoulders, all right? Okay, so move number six. Oh, sorry, move number seven. Now we have um, line hops. So. These are hard, so if you don't jump, then don't worry. You can step over your line. Step and step is your modification if you don't jump, okay? But if you do jump, I want you to try these lateral side hops. So my feet are together and I'm gonna pick an imaginary line on my mat. Then before I jump, I'm gonna pop my booty out and bend my knees. Then I'm gonna reach my arms backwards so that as they come forward, they can help me jump over the line. I land nice and soft with my legs bent. That's one. Two, good. Throw your arms forward, then land and throw them back. Three, you're doing so good. Four, five, six, be careful. Seven, eight, nine, last one. Good job, very, very good job. Okay, so this next one, we have leg swings. This is another balance move, plus a strength move, plus an endurance move, so all three in one move. You can use a piece of furniture, or I suggest a chair as well, because you can put your hands on the back of the chair and swing your foot like this, okay? I'm gonna do it just standing to show you guys what it looks like if you need an extra challenge. If you're really good at balance, try it my way. If you're working on your balance, please use a chair, okay? 10 on each leg. I'm gonna balance on one foot first before I even start. Then I'm gonna extend the leg that's off the ground. From here, I'm gonna swing it like an elephant's trunk. This is really hard, so I hope you're holding on to something. Or you can use, whoop, your arms to help you counterbalance. Three, two, one, good. Now we'll balance on the other foot. Good, I'm picking a spot on the ground to help me focus and using my hands to help me balance. So I swing them the opposite leg of my foot. Two, one, Ooh, that was fun. It's a good little challenge, but I'm telling you, no shame in the game to use a chair, okay? All right, last move, and these are called clocks. These are super fun. So what you're gonna do is pop your booty behind you and bend your knees a little bit. You're gonna pick a foot, we'll do five on each foot. We're gonna go forward, side, 
and back. Notice how I bring my foot back to my other one each time. So that was one. Forward, bring it back. Side, bring it back to the back. Back to your other foot, that's two. Let me show you from the front, keep going. Forward, side, back, that's three. For an extra challenge, keep this foot that's moving off the ground. Side, back, that's five. Good job, but if that's hard for you and you feel like you're gonna fall over, you can tap your foot each direction. That's one. See how the other side of my body is still like a statue. The only thing that's really moving is this foot. Four. Good, don't forget if you need a challenge, you can pretend to tap the ground. Oops, I'm gonna keep it off the ground. I kicked my entertainment table. All right, so we have marches now. We're gonna add an arm swing to them. You have 20, 10 each leg. So what you're gonna do is you're gonna step really high and your opposite hand is gonna come up towards the knee that's bent. Then you put it down and the other one comes. Good, so opposite hand, opposite knee. Seven, eight, marching, nine, 10. Good job, 10 more. Good, this helps with your balance and your core strength. Three, two, one. All right, you guys. That was round one. That was fun. 10 moves, 10 reps. We're gonna do it one more time, which means you will have moved for 200 different efforts. That's amazing, all right? Take a minute break. You have about 45 more seconds before we start round two. So if you need to grab some water, you wanna stretch a little bit, you want to go give somebody a hug, you want to fix your hair. Don't get too distracted though because we still have one more round and 15 seconds before we start. You guys are doing awesome. These moves are very hard because you have to really work on your balance with these moves. Plus our heart rate is getting up there because we're doing a lot of reps. So there's a lot going on here, all right? But remember, the second round is always a little bit easier than the first round because now you know what to expect. So here we go, let's get started. You remember our first move? That was a long time ago. We have high knees. And remember, it's 10 each knee, so we're doing 20. I'm just gonna remind you, if you don't jump, you're gonna tap your knee and step your foot off the ground. If you do jump, you're right here with me. Energy is getting ready and off the ground because you're gonna go 20, 19, 18, 17, 10, 9, 8, 7, 6, 5, 4, 3, 2, 1. Woo, that's hard. You should feel very good after that one. Then remember we have butt kicks. So your modification is stepping and getting your heel to your booty or you can go right here and jump. Six, seven, eight, nine, ten, ten, nine, eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, one. Good job. All right, heel walks. These are actually way harder than you would think. So remember, you're gonna have your toe off the ground. Ooh, it's hard to get started. Maybe I'll stagger stance right here, one foot in front of the other. And I'm also holding on to my TV stand, okay? So from here, I'm gonna walk on my heels with my toes off the ground. One, two, three, four, five, ten each foot. Six, seven, eight, good job. Nine, ten, halfway there. Eleven, twelve, whoop, thirteen, fourteen, fifteen, sixteen, seventeen, eighteen, nineteen. Done, wow, those are hard. I start to feel it in my shins and I start to wanna to go too fast so I have to slow down a little bit. There's a lot going on in that one. All right, so now we have our standing side reaches. So remember our feet are shoulder width apart, our hands are by our side and our hips are squeezing underneath us so our lower back is flat. Good job. Now from here, the top of my waistline 
pinches my finger if it were to be here, I pinch as I reach towards my heel. So you can pretend like my finger's here and you wanna squeeze it. Good, five, six. We have 20 total, 10 each side. Halfway there, my hips never stop squeezing. I'm working through my waistline. Good. 18, 19, 20. Let's do one more for good luck. Okay, good job. All right, so now we have our hip circles. We love these ones. We have 10 one way and then 10 the other way. We're pretending like our hips are a crayon and we're drawing as big of a circle as we can as we reach to the side, the back, the side, and the front. My hands are on my hips to help me. And notice I'm not going too fast because I want to go as far back to the side and forward as I can. Two more here. My legs stay pretty straight. Last one. And then we're going to go the other way. So not only are we moving and exercising, but we're also getting a little bit of a stretch, loosening up some of our muscles we use a lot when we sit in the car, when we sit at the desk. Our low back starts to get really tight and compressed. So we're kind of just moving stuff around here. Good, two more. Last one, awesome. So the first round, we did really big arm openers, opening up our chest and our shoulders, but now I wanna try to do smaller ones to teach you the difference. There's no wrong way, this is just a different way to do them. So feet are underneath you, your arms are extended like you're gonna touch one wall or the other. From here, you're gonna make 10 circles forward. 10, nine, stay in control. Eight, seven, six. So they're like a medium circle. Four, three, two, and switch. So my arms are working, I feel these. Four, five, drawing a circle with our fingertips. Good, a couple more. Awesome, so you can feel the difference between making them smaller versus making them bigger, right? There's benefits to both ways though. All right, so now we have our line hops. And I just wanna remind you, you can step over your walk line if you don't like to jump, right? That's an option, or you can jump with me. And remember I taught you about your arms, how they help you jump over that line. Two. I'm landing soft, three, four, and both feet are jumping and landing at the same time. You have three more, two more, last one. Awesome job. All right, so now we have the leg swings. I wanna show you how to do these with your chair, okay? So I showed you the first round, how to do them standing, which is the hardest way to do them. This way is a little bit easier for support. My hands go to the back of the chair, but they're just lightly resting on the chair. Then I lift a leg, and I'm gonna swing my foot. Let me move away from the TV stand here. I'm gonna swing my foot, but my hips are gonna stay forward. So my leg that's moving is heavy like an elephant's trunk or a pendulum on a clock. Two more. Last one, and switch. Right, slight lean forward, hips forward, toes forward, and then pushing up and out through my hip, and then letting it swing down. Four, three, two, one. Good job. All right. So, Last move are our clocks. You can keep your chair and use that as well to balance, or you can stay here with me. And remember, it goes forward, side, 
and back. That's one. If it's not hard enough for you, you can keep this toe off the ground. Two. Good. So you have to balance three on your opposite foot. Four. Otherwise, you're tapping the ground for more stability and switch legs. Here you go. So it goes forward, side, then back. Follow me, you got it. Tap, together, tap, together, tap, jog. Pushing through that opposite foot, your balancing foot. Three, good, almost there. Four, woo. And done. Okay, last move. We've had those clocks. And now we're gonna finish with our marches with our arm swings. I love this one. So what you're gonna do, just a quick reminder, your knee comes up and your hand comes up at the same time. So you have to balance for just a quick second before your foot goes back down. Are we ready to finish this workout strong? So here we go, 20, 19, 18. Find your balance. Good. March it out. Showing you different angles here. Last 10, nine, eight, good. Lean slightly forward, it'll help you a little bit. Three, two, and one. Awesome job, you guys. That was a good one. All new moves. You did a hundred efforts. You worked 10 moves, 10 reps, two rounds. You should be so proud of yourself. You are a true athlete. It was my pleasure to work out with you today. But don't forget, we still need to stretch and cool down. So meet me right back here, grab some quick water, and then we're gonna stretch together just for about five minutes. Then you are on with the rest of your day. All right, now for the most important part of your workout, your cool down and your stretch. So we're gonna start here on our knees on the mat. So carefully make your way down and meet me here. Good, now you can put your hands down, swing your feet underneath you and sit up nice and tall. One leg is gonna be straight, the other leg is gonna bend and the bottom of your foot is gonna to come to the inside of your leg. From here, I want you to inhale your hands over your head and exhale, reach for your shin. So it's not so much about reaching for your toes. I want you to think about getting your chest to the top of your leg. So my legs are nice and tight, so it's hard for me, but some of you can get your nose all the way down or your chest all the way to your thigh. One good way to practice this is to use your breath. So with every inhale, you go in through your nose. Then with every exhale, you can get a little bit further down. Try not to bounce. Try to just keep sinking lower and lower. Awesome. Let's switch sides. So that leg goes straight, the other leg bends. The bottom of your foot is on the inside of your leg. Reach your hands over your head, inhale. Exhale, hands go towards your shoelaces and you're trying to get your chest down to the top of your thigh. Try to release any tension you have, especially through your low back. go up, try to keep going down, down, down. Good job. Now we're going to bring the bottom of our feet together. We're going to stay in the seated position. And if you want to walk your butt behind you so you're nice and tall, you can do that also. From here, you're going to try to bring your heels as close in as you can while you let your knees drop to the ground. So 
maybe you can press on your knees, feel a little extra stretch, but be very gentle with yourself. You can use your breath and let your chest fall forward a little bit. As you push your knees down to the ground. Hinging one way and then the other. Shifting your weight and you can feel a stretch more on one leg than the other. Good job. Bring those legs straight out in front of you. And then just give them a little shake. Good job. Okay, safely come up to standing so you can bring your knees underneath you. You can use furniture to help you push up but we're gonna do a side reach and a side stretch. So what you're gonna do is stand nice and tall, tuck your hips underneath you, reach one hand down to your heels, then the other hand I want your palm to go out, up, 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 and now you're reaching over the top of your head. So your bicep is right by your ear, and this hand is still reaching towards your heel. Feel it your side, and your rib cage opening up. Whew, good. Relax that hand. Reach this hand down to your heel. Now you're going to open up your palm away from your body. Reach it up over your head. And then stay in line with your body. Everything's still forward, but you're reaching over the top of your head and pushing this hip out. Your bicep is by your ear still. And this hand is still reaching down. Good job. And there you have it. I'm so proud of you. You warmed up. You did an awesome workout. You got your stretch in. You drank water. You are just winning at life. So meet me back here for another workout when you're ready. I am so proud of you.